Zach? Interpretation Ooh. is a great way to have miscommunication. Oh, fabulous way. And I'm, I'm going to confess I've been guilty many Man's years. Man's <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we didn't talk about that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so how, what do we mean by miscommunication through interpretation? I, I, I want to use the, start with the example of if, if we're talking to somebody we don't know or we just met, you know, right. and, and, and they say something that um, we don't really understand, you yeah. know, their meaning isn't clear. Right. We, we can do a couple things, yeah. right? I mean, right. it's a low stakes yeah. conversation. So right. most yeah. likely I'm going to just let it go, right? Just, I'm going, oh, I, don't, I didn't really understand, but it's, you know, do I want to interrupt them to ask a question or, or is, is it, you know, are they yeah, just going to... Is it important enough for me to say, you know, time yeah. out? I mean, yeah. is it an offhand comment that they just said, you know, and, and I, you know, squirrel? Or, or is it they're really trying to get a point across? If they're really trying to get a point across, then I'm probably going to, you know, then dig in and ask. I don't really understand, but... Right. But so that's the two choices. Either either let it go or ask them to clarify, right? Right. Okay. Now, when we're talking to family members, Ooh, we minefield. have a different situation. Minefield. Right. Well, because, Literally M I N D field. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got years of history together usually. Yes. Right? Years and, and so Lots of built up hurt. There's past. There's mm-hmm. some past, and, and yes, oftentimes there's a lot of, of underlying anger, shall we older say? frustrations. Yeah, underlying and, anger. And so, and, and this is someone we're going to see again. So, yeah. so letting it, just letting it go, you know, if we don't understand, just letting it go and, and saying, well, it doesn't matter, that could come back to bite us too. You know, because like has. later on, like, uh, <laughs> I told you that. And, and it has. Weren't you listening? And, I know. <laughs> and all that stuff. So, um, and of course, it's, it's hard for us to talk about this without thinking about our parents because those are such significant relationships in our lives and, and where we had so much miscommunication ourselves. Yeah. So let, let's talk about some reasons that communication okay. uh, might not be clear, or that their reason, their, their, sorry, their mes- meaning, what they mean to say isn't clear. Okay. Right. So the, the simplest mm-hmm. and the most innocent is that it's just Carol's conversation. You know, it's just an offhand comment. They really haven't thought much about it. They just say something that falls out of their mouth. And it's like, huh? You know? And and even the, and if you watch their facial expression, they'll half the time go, oh, I guess yeah. I didn't mean that. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes we we say things we don't mean. I mean, oh, and then we yeah. and then we back up, you know. Yeah. Or we or we get embarrassed and you know, all kinds of things happen. But but anyway, careless. So that yeah. You know, and that's yeah totally forgivable it's human i mean it's just yeah, it's just what we do things fall out of we, my mouth and we all time. do it yeah. yes you do hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and i do too I've heard so another something um that another possibility is that it's something they're processing out loud that they don't really understand either they don't really know and what they mean usually 90 percent of my stuff if, if i'm mine saying, too yeah. yeah 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 that you have no clue what i'm talking about that's <laughs> And you don't need to. It's my way of processing. And and so, uh, you know, a strategy for that. If 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 it appears that that might, that might be the case, we can always just ask. So, are you just processing right now, right? Or you just you just need to vent, or you know, or we do can, I need to solve this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's probably another video. <laughs> but yes, uh, it took me a while to figure out that. Yeah. When, when to listen and when to try to solve the problem. Right. <laughs> and, and, and then so a third reason and the one, the, the real minefield mm-hmm. is, is when uh, the, the, the person is intentionally trying to say something without saying it. Yeah. We had a lot of that. And, and that's, a lot that's of where aggressive. Th- there's all kinds of labels and, 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 you know, meanings and hidden and stuff and, and some really, so two or three, you know, top top of mind things was okay. maybe they're afraid to be more direct, um, and that's that could be maybe they are afraid that you'll get offended and be mad at them, or maybe they're afraid of hurting your feelings. You know, sometimes, um, you know, yeah, saying something. The truth, but okay. <laughs> uh, okay, here's one. So, would you like a mint? Ah, <laughs> true. Okay. <laughs> Try to tell me something. 
Exactly. That's ah. trying to say something without saying um, your breath could drop a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> that's never happened to me either. <laughs> <laughs> but but okay, so I mean, sometimes it, it really is just a, a kindness, you know. It's it's a it's an indirect and it's it's intentional, but it's it's not it's not malicious or um, True. or True. you know uh, manipulative. Okay, there was manipulative. Yeah, yes. we, that's the, that's that's a hot <laughs> button for both yes, of us. We're yes, getting yes, there. Yes. Okay, so the next one, mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe they want deniability. That's what we had a lot of experience with. Oh, that. So, deniability. So, in other words, saying uh, something like, "Are you going to wear that?" And and so the person that hears that hears it as your outfit is ugly. A lot of judgment. Or, or a, lot of a lot of judgment. But yeah. but the person who said it said. Well, no, I just asked a simple question. Is that what you're going to wear? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and, and so they can, they can go to the literal words they say uh -huh. and deny the meaning, the, the, the implied meaning. Right. And they can, they can say, I, I meant something different or I didn't mean anything. It was a simple question. You know, that, okay, again, we, we all, all do that. this. All and, and those things are generally pretty transparent. Yeah. But they're, they're frustrating. Okay, oh. especially if it's a habit that gets repeated a lot. If mm -hmm. if that person, you know, is um, yeah, is if that's just Not their kind of their either. normal. Yeah, it's it's a it feels like a dishonesty, and it, and it gets because of the repetition, it becomes you know there's a it tends to leverage or um, remind quickly remind you of how many times it's happened before, and we'll, and we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. And then another third is. Maybe they have an agenda, you know. Yeah, Maybe they are. That was another big one. So they're trying to say something without because they're they're just trying to test the idea. Maybe again, it, it's kind of like the first one. They're afraid of being more direct, mm -hmm. but but for a different reason. You know, maybe they're just trying to introduce a concept and find out, you know, how that's how, how that's going to to to, to fly before yeah. they go further. And and again, it's. It's a it is a misdirection in, in that sense. It is it's a mis it's an intentional miscommunication, and it's likely to go sideways. More it's more probable yeah. to go sideways than it is to, to lead to a closer relationship, right? Oh well, yeah, it, it usually <laughs> breaks it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the trap, the trap that we create, yeah, and, and I'm going to say we create it for ourselves. Okay, when we interpret on both sides, when we interpret. We create a trap for ourselves of not understanding, of, 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 of allowing ourselves not to understand. And, and by interpreting, we create a meaning, we decide a meaning and assign it to that person, okay. to what they've said, instead of, instead of clarifying. And, and basically, we're telling ourselves that we know what they're thinking. And we don't. We can't, unless we're some kind of amazing psychic, and I've yet to meet one of those. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume that it's not common. Okay. Okay. So most of us aren't that psychic, <laughs> and and we can't literally read another person's thoughts. So if we don't know what they mean, we've got to have some other strategy than Which than are. interpreting. Okay. Some possibilities. Yeah. Right. All right. First of all, since we talked about the past and, and family, and we're, we are talking about family, notice notice how you're feeling. You know, are you reacting? Is this generating? Is this you know whatever uh, conversation? Stomach or glitch. Is it yeah? Is, is did your stomach tighten up? Did your heart start racing? Are you instantly angry? You know, oh my God, here it comes again, right? That's I mean that's where I yeah. When I think about it, that's what I recall is oh my God, not again. And and right away I'm in an emotional uh, uh, trap, uh, you know, black hole that I I'm not going to be able to be effective in that. So. So that's being reactive. Yeah, what, what, yeah, communication is all shut down. It, communication has has quit at that point, and and it becomes oppositional or or uh, confrontational. So the thing to do is is then just be proactive. Okay, notice that I'm having a reaction, acknowledge that, you know, re recognize it, acknowledge it, and then it's not necessary to communicate it, but do do my best to go around it. You know, to communicate without expressing. 
th those feelings. Oh, that's tough. It is. It takes work. Uh, it's it's a, it takes yeah. it takes skill. Uh, yeah. And and so how do you do that? Yeah. How do we do that? How do I do that? One big step is leaving the past in the past. Be right here, right now. So it's it's like pretend that or treat this moment like it's the first time this has happened. Okay. If that if you can do that. Boy, if you can do that, yeah. Well, it's that would be none of this uh, friggin' amazing. When you've got 20, 30 years experience with somebody, what do you want out of the relationship? I mean, this comes down to okay, do I want the relationship to improve, or do I want to just keep repeating the same stuff? So, if I want to improve it, I got to do something different, and something different is okay. Let's let's put the past in the past for now. Let's, okay. Okay. It's done. Right. It, it's that's done. That's over. New day, right now. Okay. Okay. And then asking, so this is a bit of a process, right? Noticing how uh, okay. we feel and then and, and noticing that whatever reaction. You're trying to get in the present. Especially if the, react, the reaction is almost always loading up a bunch of past. Oh, yeah. So, so it's like, okay, that, that's and done. And bringing that out happened. the M16. And, right. Cause, and, and it's like treating all that stuff from the past like it's happening now, like it's happening again. Well, this may be a repetition. This may be a habit. But the, the stuff that happened in the past is still in the past. And if we didn't deal with it then, that's on us too. Sure. So, so right now, new day, how do we clarify? Right. So, Connie, I want to be sure I understand what you mean. Could you clarify that a little bit more for me? Now, how did that sound? Did it sound like I wanted to understand what you mean? Somewhat. Uh, it also slapped me upside the head that I was misbehaving and that I probably... Hmm. Well, uh, if you were, prepared. then yeah, yeah, yeah you would... Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, well, that's nine-tenths nine of the time. That's, that a really, that's a really key point of this, that, that yeah. a lot of times the, when, when somebody is intentionally um, trying to say something without saying it and, and they get called on it by, you know, asking for clarification. Now they're kind of in the crosshairs. They're, you know, on the spot a little bit. And so that comes back to the, to the what definitely not to do is say, what do you mean by that? <laughs> okay. My favorite thing. <laughs> what do you mean by that what is <laughs> pretty much guaranteed to, uh, to create a, uh, you know, a, start, an argument. And that's when the fight that's started. That's when the fight started, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but but the, you know how you say it is is really important. But how, what you feel, you, you, it, it it is important to have genuine curiosity, and that and that again, when you've had a reaction, taking that breath and saying, okay, I I really don't understand, and I want to understand, I, I, I want a better relationship, or I want clarity with you. I I, I don't understand. What let's let's be more direct. I, maybe. Is there a reason you're not, did you feel like you were not being fully direct with me? Yeah, but then that could start a fight too. There's, there's, yeah. we got to figure, I mean, this yeah. is not a one size fits all and, and every person and want something's going to work every time. You know, it, we got to find our way through it. Yeah, that's true. But it is, it has to be a process of questioning, of, of asking for clear, clarity, getting to clarity. What, tell me what you mean. Yeah. Just, but without accusing, that's the key. That is without the, key. the accusation, you know, yeah. you're, uh, I, and, and again, there's so many more techniques, you know, the I feel, I feel, you know, when, when you say that, I feel this way, I, I want to understand what you, what you meant. Is that, did you, and, and I did rather, I'd rather heart. start, yeah. I'd personally rather start with, asking could you clarify and 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 leave it open rather than making a guess and check and testing the guess yeah but that's true. but if the person refuses or says well what do you think i said well then okay you take a guess i i may but but again you know soften it a little bit or frame it with i, I may be completely wrong here i i you know i i'm not sure but where where my mind went or or what seemed like is this is that is that close and and if it's not close yay you know or if it is close yay but that's how we get that that's the process of of and we all want to be understood i mean the the really bottom line here is that we we want to feel understood 
and, and we like people who get us. We, have, we feel closer to people who really get us. So when somebody takes the time and takes the risk to say, I, I'm not sure I understood, could you, you know, help me understand better? Uh, it's hard to be uh, upset with that. It's, it's hard to have that work against you. Obviously, you didn't know some of my family members. <laughs> Well, you know. again, it's it it takes two. It does take two. It takes two. And and that and that's the that's the key. All you can also. do is invite somebody to participate in a um, you know an in improvement a conversation. in a conversation and improvement. Yeah. And and if they don't want to, you can't make them. Yeah, I found that out too. Yeah, so. so if this uh, if you've got some additional comments, yeah, uh, we'd I'm love to hear it. Looking at my notes here, uh, if you're yeah, we'd love to hear it. Leave a comment. Yeah, tell us how you solve that. You know what? What do you use to diffuse yeah, that you've situation? You've got a working strategy that you've tested yeah, and, is, love to and hear succeeds. It. <laughs> Please do share. Because we've all got you know every family, every person is unique, every family situation is unique, and and the the details are going to have to be fine tuned to that situation. Right. Right. See you soon. Bye.